give a testimony about the events uh, that happened in front of the American Embassy on the 7th of August. Hello everyone, this is Nilou Ferry. Today is Saturday, September 21st, 2019. I'm Shooting this inside my shelter in front of the UNHCR's office. I'm here since March 21st, 2017, requesting a resettlement referral from this organization. They are not responding, um, and they are usually attacking me if I try to enter the building. One of these, the last, latest of these assaults happened on July, Monday, July 22nd, 2019. Um, which is why I had been trying to, you know, find help. Elsewhere, like approaching the embassies of other countries, like Canadian embassy, U.S. embassy, Australian embassy. On one of these particular occasions, I reached um, out to the U.S. embassy um, on um, August 7, 2019. I had an email of I wanted to submit to the embassy. <clears throat> on this day, this particular day, um, a young researcher from uh, a young uh, Russian German researcher from um, Germany was accompanying me at the US Embassy who is going by the name uh, Margarita Lia Lipachua Li and at the US Embassy while I was trying to submit this um, dossier to the Embassy um, the security of the embassy, they called the police, two police officers um, were just, you know, walking around intimidating me until um, another police man arrived by motor motorcycle and as soon as he arrived without giving me any warning or anything, he um, came to me straight, came to me straight and uh, he attacks me, he grabs me by the shoulder and throws me on the, on the ground on the ground and mounting himself on my back and uh, applies so much pr pressure on my back uh, I was almost uh, strangled from the pressures he applied I also I was also carrying this water bottle with pressure he used um, I also let the open led to opening of this um, water bottle and all my clothes um, soaking all the water then also several other police um, uh, officers, women and men arrived and then they handcuffed me and they also uh, got cut this uh, lady who was uh, staying away like 20 meters away from the embassy filming the situation. They took both, us, both of us to the um, National Security um, Department of Police Headquarters uh, they went through um, all our stuffs and they made the lady to delete all the videos. I didn't delete my videos, which is why later they confiscated my phone and they didn't give it back. Uh, anyway, they also accused me of attacking this um, policeman, which was opposite, exact opposite of that. I was I was being attacked by this policeman, but they said you had attacked this police officer and then in the court which happened on September for them this policeman came and testified and um, my witness Margarita uh, she said she was in Thessaloniki and she didn't appear in the court and um, I also had a email short email from the US Embassy briefly describing that I wasn't treated well by the police which I showed it to the court but in the court no never um, whatever I said didn't matter at all they didn't care about what I said they also didn't um, consider the email from the US Embassy and um, they just sentenced me to jail based on a false testimony of a policeman who had attacked me they gave me 18 months uh, Imprisonment, then uh, 3,000 the euros um, fine, and then um, they also confiscated my phone, and they said they are no, never going to give my cell phone back. I'm still waiting for the official um, document of this decision, of this trial, because I also have the audio trial. I haven't published it yet 
because I'm waiting for the official decision. I have visited the court several times. It's not ready yet, they told me. And um, after the, several weeks of after the trial, Margarita contacts me again on Facebook, asks ask me about how the trial went. I told her what happened, and I also asked her to come to give a written testimony. We both went to a notary office. The notary office said that um, since we both uh, are foreigners and none of us speak in Greek, so she says she couldn't help us. I also wrote to nine other notary offices. None of them replied except one of them. Um, but uh, the one he also, the one that also replied, said she wouldn't be able to help unless I have um, a lawyer in order to ask her to um, ask to establish the testimony act so I don't have a lawyer and um, she said there is no other way that she could help so therefore she couldn't also proceed with you know uh, helping us with this written testimony which is, uh, which is why um, we decided that I asked Margarita to give a testimony on the camera which she agreed she gave a testimony on the camera about what happened uh, on that day at the US Embassy and um, here it is the testimony of Margarita uh, Lee Patwa about the incident physical and um, assaults unjustified uh, violence and aggression of the police at the US Embassy on August on Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. Um, I am to give a testimony about the events uh, that happened in front of the American Embassy on the 7th of August. Um, it was accompanying Anwar Nyupeli. Mm. Uh, my name is Nafida um, Sinifatwa. So I was accompanying Anwar Nyupeli uh, on the date in order to submit uh, a document for humanitarian visa to American Embassy. And uh, during this uh, day, um, we went to the Embassy and I was standing in maybe 50 meters distance from the reception desk uh, of the Embassy when I thought that, uh, when I saw that uh, um, Mr. New Ferry was trying to submit his documents. Um, then the employees of the embassy stopped responding to um, communicating with him. And the next thing that happened there was a, a police officer approaching and Mr. New Ferry on a motor motorcycle, stopping in front of him and then grabbing him by the shoulders and pushing him to the floor, um, squeezing his hands uh, down on his back and putting him in handcuffs. Everything done in quite brutal and violent uh, manner. So it was not the case of uh, Mr. New Ferry attacking the police officer by um, no question. It was the opposite. It was a case of uh, very violent, necessary violent arrest of Mr. New Ferry. Um, after this, um, I know that uh, the policeman who was involved in that uh, accused Mr. New Ferry of attacking him, which is uh, not the case. It's not what I saw. Um, that's what I want to say in this testimony. Yeah, I'm listening. This is right here next to me. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, can you also say why we are doing this? Because we want to win a very Ah, yes. So, it seems to be very problematic to have a, um, a testimony uh, or an evidence of a witness uh, if the witness is not coming from Greece. So basically, we were told by the notary officer that uh, a foreigner cannot be used uh, in a court. 
uh, he doesn't have any or she doesn't have any legal power. Um, so my my presence on the scene doesn't matter eventually, and that's why we are recording this video. Can you also Thank you very much. This uh, Margarita. Yeah. So that's it for now. Bye. Bye.